When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? Just because things are free doesn't mean we have to use it. Yes, we do. No. I know Chad's going to say to this, no, no, no. Well, yes, 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 because I'm the bride, and today this is what I want. Right now, Chad seems to be flipping out about the money that's being spent. Chad flips oh, yeah. out about money all the time. This is nothing new. Money's money, Steph. You don't understand English. Free. are an occasion where emotions prevail. Weddings are a bride who'd rather set sail. Weddings are spending on a very grand scale. Meet newlywed Stephanie and Chad. The trip to their waterfront wedding was a slippery slope of overspending. Let's jump aboard and follow this couple as they plan their wedding day and try to stay out of financial hot water. My name is Steph. I am a 27-year-old nurse. I met Chad, a realtor, in high school, and we dated on and off for a few years. We finally came to our senses, and we decided to tie the knot. This is the story of how I struggled to pull off my dream wedding while dealing with my penny-pinching groom. Our wedding day was perfect. Um, I stressed so many times during all of the wedding planning, but it turned out to be probably the most perfect day of my life. It did. Their wedding may have been perfect, but paying the bills will be anything but ideal. Let's turn back the clock and see if this waterfront wedding can be anything but all wet. My expectations of the wedding planner was kind of to be the mediator. Actually kind of be on my side a little bit more. Because Chad is so frugal and he was so penny-pinching throughout this whole process that it really kind of drove me crazy. Meet wedding planner Angelique Sobshack. Angelique has 15 years of experience keeping couples on budget and honest with each other about spending. But how will she deal with this penny-pinching groom and his bride who's known to stretch the truth? That will kill you. Exactly. No, you need to stick to a tuxedo. Stuff. No, no. Well, that's smart. Why am I here? Because Steph wanted me here to make sure you didn't cheap out. My role as a wedding planner is to take a bride and groom who have visions on opposite ends of the spectrum and bring them together. When it comes to budget, they have to see eye to eye. Thank you guys for meeting with me. I wanted to sit down and have you guys explain to me your wedding day. What's the theme oh, of the we wedding? We want a black and white theme. What? Guest numbers are you guys looking at right now? 140 to 150. 150 okay. yeah. Which is manageable. Now, do you have a venue in mind already that you're looking at? Yes. yes. We already have one booked. Oh, you do? Okay, great. Yes. Tell me about it. Um, it's gorgeous, actually. Um, it's right on the water. Yes. Um, it's all inclusive. Everything, everything's included, so nothing really to worry about. Oh, you're lucky. So, I mean, yeah. when you say included, what's included? Everything. Linens, uh, the bar, the food, food uh, everything. Everything's included. What about, like, chair covers, centerpieces? Yep. Yep. All really? Things. Yep. So if the venue has a lot of items, how much decor are we going to need? Really nothing, right? Nothing, yeah. Well, actually, no. The venue has very beautiful decor items, but it just doesn't fit my vision, so I want specific linens. The hall doesn't offer black and white, or they do? They have black and white. Okay. Yeah. No, they have solid black and white. Yeah, that's black oh, and so white. Oh, so you're thinking you just want something different. Or we got this venue for the reason of, uh, of all-inclusive, and that's what we're going to use it as, is all-inclusive. There's no reason to bring anything into this. Well, Chad, that doesn't really fit my vision. Well, as part of the decor, though, I also want to talk about the flowers, because... Flowers, yes. Flowers, I want tons of flowers. They supply flowers as well, so I don't, I don't, don't think we're going to be putting flowers they, in either. They supply nice centerpieces, but right. again, I want fresh flowers on every table. It's not going to happen. You want fresh flowers, but the venue which supplies the centerpieces are not fresh. That's right. So you really are going to be, it's either you go fresh or no fresh. That's right. It's we go free. It's we go fresh. Yeah. Just because things are free doesn't mean we have to use it. Yes, we do. No. My and Chad's visions differ completely. He wants to stick to anything that's basically free and anything that comes with the hall. And I have a completely different vision. I have everything that I want and in my head, and I'm hoping that I'll get it. I'm definitely way more budget conscious than Steph. Uh, she just spend, spend, spend. Uh, I got to sit back and I got to watch her very closely because if I'm not there, she'll just go out and spend money on things we won't even use in the wedding. Rings? Do you guys have an idea? Like, are you? Do you have rings already? I've actually found this place. Um, 
that you, we can make our own rings. You actually spend the day there and you fold your rings and you bend them and you solder them. And it's basically... Is it real, like, metals? Like, yeah, real gold? Yeah, you can get them in gold, silver. Yeah, they're gonna have diamonds? Um, you can have anything you want. It's... I but the idea know. of it is to keep the cost low, and it's your wedding band made by one another. What other ideas do you guys have? Like I have tons of ideas. Oh, do you? Yes. Tell me, tell okay. me. Let me know. Yes, I was thinking about a boat. A boat. A boat for our all of our guests to come to do cocktail hour on. And all 150? Yes. It's not going to happen. <laughs> this is something I really want to look into. You're not going to get a boat. Uh, the boat will be our whole uh, budget. Well, your boat, I, I just don't understand why you would have a boat for all 150 guests on it, but not have your reception on it. Well, it's just going to be for cocktail hour, for hors d'oeuvres and champagne, and to take a little ride out on the lake. Okay. I think it'd be a fabulous idea. Um, fireworks, I'd love fireworks out in the middle of the lake. This is all news to me. I'm. Uh... Well, this, okay. this is where you can hear about it. Do you know how expensive fireworks are? Well, we're going to have to look into that, because I definitely want fireworks. I think it will look beautiful out on the water. It's not going to happen. Again. It's something that's going to be budget conscious for you. Mm -hmm. Everything's budget conscious for Chad. Yeah, yeah and everything's all about vision for you. Yeah, right. yeah. It seems to me, Chad, you're really worried about the the money. I'm really worried about Stephanie. Yes, the, the money. How I, come? I have no problem spending what our budget is, but I know Steph will go above and beyond. See, Chad is a little bit on the um, frugal side. Um, for in, for instance, um, he tells me I shouldn't use as much toilet paper as I use. <laughs> There's no need to use that much toilet paper. I don't even use that much toilet paper. She wraps her hand with it. Are you serious? You, you actually tell, you limit the amount of toilet paper? I, I was raised in a family that conserves stuff, you know what I mean? A couple squares will do it, just as well as wrapping your hand 17 times. A couple squares. So this is what we have to deal with. Who's paying for the wedding? Is it you guys? It's or? actually us for paying for it. Okay, so let me see the budget and let me see how close I can bring you guys together. This is Chad's budget. Okay. So this is Chad's budget, and I've got to fit your vision into this. That's right. Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? You guys need to get way closer if you want me to make your vision fit into his budget. That's realistically what we can afford. Okay, but then your vision has to change. Your vision has to become black and white. My vision is not changing. His budget is changing. Coming up. I know Chad's gonna say to this, no, no, no. Well, yes, 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 because I'm the bride and today this is what I want. My wedding dress was very long and narrow. Um, it had uh, spaghetti straps and it had it was very nice. Very. Uh, Best part was it was on sale. Yeah, that's not the point, but it had a beautiful bolero jacket and it was crocheted in the back, so the back was But it was, was like 90% off. off, so how could you go wrong? <laughs> When it comes to the budget for your wedding, you and your partner should be on the same page. You want fresh flowers, but the venue which supplies the centerpieces are not fresh. That's right. It's either you go fresh or no fresh. That's right. It's we go free. It's we go fresh. Yeah. Yeah. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if this couple got all the frills or just the bills. Vision about the decor and the linens, and nothing was going to stop me about getting the table linens that I wanted. Oh, trust me, I know. I didn't care about the cost. So I had Angelique source out a vendor that she thought might have helped. Look, look. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I love it. Look at, see, you can see some flowers. They've got the black, the white, see, and all black. So take a look. Take it all in. Oh my Bling. goodness, oh my goodness, this is it. This is it, this okay. is my tablecloth. I know that, but do you think it's too busy? Look at this one too, because it's no, a runner. No, I don't want to look at the runner. Just nope, nope, nope. Compare, this, compare. I don't want to compare, this is my tablecloth. <laughs> okay, I okay, love okay. it, I love it, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's gonna put the whole wedding together with the black chair covers, black napkins. This is it, babe, this is gorgeous. Oh, oh I'm glad you I like it. I love it, I love it. Some brides dream of their groom, and others, their tablecloth. This is Sarah. <laughs> this my Right, Steph. Steph. Are you from over there? You yeah, like I guess it? she <laughs> love it. And uh, this, I have to have it. Well, first off, how much does it cost? For this traditional damask, uh, it goes for $25. Oh, that's yeah. not bad at no, all. No, no, no. And delivery and setup. Delivery and setup are $30 as Each? well. At, correct. So $60 in On total. Top. And how many tables do you need? About 14 or 15. So we're looking at about, what, four or $500? Mm -hmm. OK, that's perfect sold. Okay. All right. It's not perfect. That's not sold. That is unbelievable. When they have millions of colors at our venue. Our theme is black and white. And this Black and white's not even a theme. 
What do you mean? It's a couple it's... colors. A theme is a theme. Black and white is not a theme. You're right. But being cheap isn't a theme either. Well, you know what? Too bad. This is what we're getting. Uh, you don't understand English. Free. Baby, baby. Uh, listen. <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me. This... I don't care how much you suck up to me right now. This is my... These are free this... at the venue. No, no, no. Not the those venues ones. are like plain colors. We do not get not these this ones, view. but something that covers the table. Chad, please, this is for our perfect day. Please, if you love me, you'll let me get these. Please, please, oh, please, pull the please, love card. please. We'll take them. We'll take them. I'm not. I'm not just giving in like that. Well, you guys have to both be on the same page. I can't do that with one side. It have to be equal. You guys well, have, to have to like. We're gonna talk about this because I'm not just giving in right now. I'm not. I'm not letting you throw away money. Sarah, can you do me a favor and maybe hold? I know you don't without a deposit, but could you maybe just pull me a favor for one? For you, yes, we will. Okay, we'll for a week. Is yeah. a week enough, guys? Oh, a couple days. I will. All right. Have a decision. A week. Okay. A week. You'll hear, about, you'll hear back from me tonight. Okay. <laughs> you'll, hear, you'll hear back from me tonight. We wanted our flowers and centerpieces to be big and bold and something that our guests would be surprised by. Surprise. <laughs> so I took Angelique to the flower shop to make sure that they did that. Just that. Oh, wow, those are full. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, wow. They're beautiful, oh, aren't they? Are gorgeous, really. I love them. I love them. I love them. Yeah, I love them. But will Chad love the price? Can I ask how much this is? That's $70 as is. We didn't budget for that. It's, ex it's extra. The haul came with centerpieces for free. They do come with centerpieces for free, and they are nice, don't get me wrong, but their centerpieces just didn't fit my vision and didn't fit what I felt was necessary for the room. So I've already ordered it. You so ordered these? I've already pre-ordered them. And I was also thinking about blood red rose petals around the table. And Chad may be out for blood when he hears about this. How much are rose petals gonna cost too now? They're about $20 a bag, and that's a pretty large bag. And how many bags will I need to do the room? Uh, approximately three. Oh, three would be okay. So that's perfect, that's $60. On top of the centerpiece price, which really we didn't need to spend because you already had centerpieces, even though you don't like the centerpieces. Yeah. Chad's gonna have your head. Well, that's okay, I'll deal with Chad later. Okay. For 15 of them, how much would it be? So I think that was around 980. So you're almost at $1,000 just in centerpieces. Yes, yeah. but I, yes. But Angelique, like, I really need these centerpieces. I think they're beautiful. They're gonna fit my decor. They're gonna go with my vision. Everything they offer at the hall is nice, but it's just not, it's just not gonna but, work for me. But I already know what Chad's gonna say. To this, no, no, no. Well, yes, 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 because I'm the bride, and today, this is what I want. And this is what we're getting. And by we, you really mean you. I'm not telling Chad. You <laughs> Leave that up to me. I'll take care of him. Make sure you do it when he's sleeping. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Alrighty. I really wanted Chad's opinion on my dress, so I had Chad and my mom come along with me for dress shopping. Fun. Oh my god. Do you god. like this one? That's gorgeous. I love it. I like it too. What do you think, Chad? I don't know much about dresses. Do you like it? Well, do you think it looks nice on me? Gorgeous. Tell me, is this the kind of know. style that you pictured me Come in, or? Don't even look Pretty at the- Pretty grand? Don't even look at the price tag, Chad. Like, seriously, you're here to pick out a dress for me, not look at the price. What do you think, Mom? Think you don't gotta buy the first one you put on anyways. Unless the first one is the cheapest one. Well, see, now he doesn't like this one, so obviously I can't get this one. Oh, nice. What do you think of this one? Oh, that's pretty too, Steph. They're I do really, like it. Really, really pretty. Chad, what do you think? Hold on one sec. Chad, who are you texting? I, I'm You're supposed just, to be looking I'm at me in a dress. Houses here, Jesus, what? Chad, come on, pay attention here. It's, it's, it's a, yeah, it's the same as the rest of them. Remind me again why he's here. Do you, so obviously you're not thinking that I'm dropped a gorgeous in this one, right? Because you're texting. I'm not, I'm not liking that one. Okay, I'm gonna try another one. Okay, dress number three. Oh, Steph, that's gorgeous. You like it? Oh, that is stunning. I like this one. Yeah, this one I do. Did, I think. This is my favorite. This, this is gorgeous, is eh? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, not it's white, great. white. Get away from here. Chad, you're not looking at the price. Yeah. Price does not matter, Chad. If it's my wedding dress, it's my wedding dress. I'm not okay, gonna worry about we, the price. We have amount we can spend, and I just wanna it make sure we stand with that amount. It doesn't matter about the... Keep it under a budget. Yeah, it doesn't matter about the price. Okay, 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 stop. Look, okay, you know what? Obviously, you're not into it, and you know, you, you're concerned about the budget. L I'm paying for this. I'm paying you're for her paying. dress. For it. You I'm gotta be kidding me. 
No, I, I'm serious. I, I, I love Mom, this dress. Mom, you don't dress. have to do I, that. You no, know, I want to. Oh, I, are you going to pay for this? Yeah, I'm paying for it. Yeah. I, I think this dress is perfect. I think, I think it's this perfect. is the way. Yeah. Chad, now you think it's perfect because she's paying for it? Hey. Doesn't matter. This you know is not what, how Chad? I wanted this to be. You go sell a house. Thank go you do very much. Whatever you do best. Here Steph, anymore. I love it. Get it. This like, is beautiful. Is this one you think? It's perfect. It's my gift to you. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up. Chad, he didn't even want a boat in the beginning. Chad's gonna love having a boat. Yeah, he'll love the boat, but not the price. I take off my rings when, when I uh, get showered. Uh, I guess shower time is me time. <laughs> so uh, for, you know, five minutes, I'm not married when I'm getting showered. It might be a, I never wore rings before I met Sharon, so maybe it's just a, I'm afraid that they're gonna fall down the drain. And I don't like that. When it comes to spending on your wedding, it's important to focus on what really matters. Price does not matter, Chad. If it's my wedding dress, it's my wedding dress. I'm not okay, gonna worry about the price. We have amount we can spend, and I just want to make sure we stand with that amount. About the... And at the end of the show, we'll see if this bride got what she wanted, or if her thrifty groom kept her spending in check. Our venue is located right on the water, so what a better idea than to have a boat for our guests. So I asked Angelique to source out a party boat, and we went and met with the vendor on the open seas. Hi, Ed. Hi, how are you? Oh, God. <laughs> it's moving. <laughs> it's OK. Don't worry about it. It's solid as a rock. I wish we could say the same about the budget. You're fine. You sure? Yeah, you're, I'm sure. So this is my bride, Hi. Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet and you. And we were talking about doing something for her guests on the boat. That's right. Right? I was kind of thinking a little bit bigger boat. Remember, Steph, a bigger boat means a bigger cost. Why don't but you don't... come out and try it? All right, let's go for come a ride. On. Oh, well, you go, you go ahead. You go ahead. I'm not no, going. No, 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 no. No, no, I'm serious. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> don't do boats. You're my wedding planner. You have to help me. You're going to need more than Angelique's help when Chad finds out about this. I'm not going on this boat by myself. All the look, boats are as simple as the dock. See, look that's it. easy. Nice and easy. Come on. Just all you have to do is walk and grab this and walk on. Come on on. I'm on it. I'm on, on it. it. Look at, I did it. You I did, did it. it. Okay, I'm on the boat. Sit down right there. There we go. Right there. Just sit We're on good. that right seat. Here. Oh, that right. moved. That's all right. A lot okay. of things move on sailboats. Are you sure, Angelique, that this is the only boat you can get me? No offense, Ed. It's a beautiful no. boat, but okay. I want a big boat. I want a big party boat. I, I want to, to fit. I know, Steph. Best. I looked. I looked everywhere. And it's not a problem about finding a party boat to hold all your guests. The problem is, is you don't have the money in your budget. And I really want you to kind of think maybe more along the lines that that's not going to happen. OK. Well, you put it that way. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. And Chad, he didn't even want a boat in the beginning. Chad's going to love having a boat. Yeah, he'll love the boat, but not the price. Okay. I'm thinking. What about just the wedding party? That would be nice, actually. See? Just the wedding party? Just the wedding party and you guys. And I think make it special for you. I'm also thinking maybe bring the photographer on and do some great shots. That would be nice. Your budget is okay. important to me, but also your dreams. OK. How much is this boat to rent? If we were to rent it for an hour. An hour? Two, 250. That's not bad at See? all. And I'm saying, I don't think Chad will scream. I mean, he'll scream anyways. You know Chad. But it's. I can juggle that number and, and maybe mix it into the budget somewhere. Can we have it for two hours, maybe? Yeah, let me work with the numbers. OK, if we can have it for two hours, and if it could be our grand entrance, yes. and if my whole wedding party can fit on it at once, yes. then I'm good with that. Because it you? is a beautiful boat, and it is it is so nice out here. See? So. It is a party boat. OK. There All you right. go. We're going to make it a party <laughs> okay. for you. Me, it's a party boat. <laughs> there okay, you go. I like the boat. I think we should get the boat. See? OK. Now let's turn this baby around oh, and get me on okay. land. <laughs> Steph wanted a big sparkly monogram cake topper, but those things can get quite expensive. You think everything is expensive? Well, even you can spend money on something free, eh? <laughs> hey. Hey, Lindsay, how's it going? Good, Hi, you? Lindsay. Hey, Steph. I'm desperate for your help. Okay. You need to see what he brought home as our cake topper. Oh, gosh, okay. Isn't that lovely? This is a piece of garbage that he expects to put on our wedding cake. Oh, That's God, Chad. No. It's horrible. It's awful. Yeah. There's still dirt around it. That's because it was dirt cheap. 
Chad, why? <laughs> I, I, I sold the house, and uh, the people's last name used to, uh, started with an M, so yeah. I asked them if I could have it, and they were gracious enough to give it to us. So but what I need <laughs> you to do is bedazzle it for me. Bedazzle? Bedazzle. You I need jewels, crystals? I need sparkle crystals, I need everything that's going to make it shine. Oh. But nothing too much, nothing too much, nothing too much, because I, I can bedazzle it myself. <laughs> with what? With spray paint. <laughs> spray paint? Yeah. Okay, were you thinking what color? Clear? Um, black or Black? Clear? Okay, let me see what I have. Okay. We're gonna glue these on. Is that what you had in mind? Yeah, but can we do like, lots? A lot of them? So yeah, that it like so they stand. How much do these beads cost? Anywhere between five cents and 25 cents each, plus my time. Yeah, so we're gonna need bigger beads than this, though. I think. Yeah, we could do bigger. And more. Another, bigger means more money. Oh, there we got more money. Yeah. <laughs> that news makes Chad laugh on the outside, but cry on the inside. I think I can spray paint it. No, I don't think so. We're not having spray painted. We're gonna we're gonna have Lindsay do it professionally done. You wouldn't well, let me buy one off the internet. Lindsay's gonna do it. They're two hundred dollars on the internet, and this one's free. So. Well, how much would it cost, you think? Say seventy-five dollars. Sold. No, 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 no. I brought this home because it was free. You can't do any better than $75, Lindsay. No. $75 is a perfect amount. I think for Chad, free is the perfect amount. You wanted to put this hunk of metal on our, on our cake, and this is what we're going to do. Lindsay's going to put jazz it up for us. Lindsay's going to put sparkles on it. Lindsay's going to make it look like a proper cake yeah. topper. Normally, it would probably be over 100 150 That's right. So you're saving time. It's going to anyway. take me all day to glue those on. But she's my friend, so okay. I'm going to help you out. Thank you, Lindsay. Anytime. And you're saving money anyways. I guess you get your way. I always do. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to make sure there was some sentimental value in our rings, so I asked Steph's brother Mike to come along uh, to show him what I had in store. Uh, not to mention it would put me in the good books with Steph. Is that what you're trying to do? It did. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think? Thing about what? What is this? Chapetto's workshop, buddy. Nice apron. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm making your sister's wedding band, buddy. You're making my sister's wedding band. Are you crazy? What? Well, you don't think that's a great idea? He may think it's a cheap idea. Or do you know how to make go. jewelry? Well, I've been taught. Yeah? I took a course all day, 300 bucks, and then uh, paid a little extra for the, the silver here, and there's a nice young lady over that's here taught me how to do it. It's not even white gold? It's silver, buddy. Sorry. I, you know, I'm not rich. You should be. You never spend any money. Well, yeah, what's that running you? 30 bucks. <laughs> yeah, eh? Well, set up maybe put a few diamonds or something into it? No. Huh? No. There's no need for diamonds in this. Yeah? Yeah. What's the sense? Bro, well, the point is, is I know my sister. And she's going to want something a little more blingy than a silver wedding band. <laughs> you know? You, you, that you pounded out in Geppetto's workshop. You, you, you're, you're just killing my idea on me, buddy. Well, it's better than being killed by your bride. Okay, bro, listen, why not spend a couple dollars and make the ring look like a ring? You're busting my chops here now. I Mike. know, dude. I'm thinking I had, about I had, your best I interest. Had an idea. I'm thinking about your best interest because I know my sister, and you're going to give her a silver band, <laughs> and she's going to say, I love it, but right here is going to be going, where is the friggin' diamonds? It's not about the money. The money was within the engagement. This is our wedding bands. This is this is a piece of me going on to her. Symbol of your love. Symbol of my love. You got it, buddy. $30 symbol of your love. <laughs> $30 symbol of my love. You know what? Fair enough. I, you know, and I think it's so a, I got you. I, think, I got I think, you now. I think it's a sweet idea that you coming in here and, and putting some sweat and love into making some rings yeah. for my sister, so. There you go. All right, good on you, buddy. Very yeah? sweet. Right yeah. on. All right, I just got to pound away a little bit more, and then we're going to okay, go to the bathroom. Okay, you pound away, <laughs> Always busted, eh? Yeah. Coming up. Right now, Chad seems to be flipping out about the money that's being spent. Chad flips oh, yeah. out about money all the time. This is okay. nothing new. Money's money, Steph. Well, you see, when we were young, we were young. I, I was teasing. I said we were young and stupid, so we married for love. And that perhaps in my next life, maybe I should have a sprinkling of love and money. Might be good. When it comes to a symbol of love for your bride, nothing says forever like a ring. It's not about the money. The money was within the engagement. This is our wedding band. This is, this is a piece of me going on to her. Symbol of your love. Symbol of my love. You got it, buddy. $30 symbol of your love. <laughs> $30 symbol of my love. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if this ring was enough or if this bride ran circles around the budget. 
Steph and I had some friends over for a barbecue, so I took that opportunity to show everybody my bright idea I had for the wedding. You almost burnt grandma. <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me. Hello, 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 hello. Um, Stephanie wants firecrackers for our wedding. And they're like a thousand bucks a second. So I just wanted to show you guys what I can do at a fraction of the cost. Here we go again. Another cost saving idea from Chad. Chad, yeah. you're not gonna set off fire. You. All right. <laughs> Let him go, Steph. Okay, let's see what yeah. you got. Here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number one. Watch your fingers. Oh, wow, looks, look that, how big those are, that guys. That looks like a big one. Yeah, that's aimed right at you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just saw the definition of underwhelming. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, hold on, Jack, hold on, hold on. We are not having these at our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but who's going to be setting these off? You're not going to be setting these off in your tuxedo. I'll set them off. No, you're not going to set them off. <laughs> oh! Awful. This is the big one. You be careful. Get right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boom. Looks like this idea is going up in smoke. Did you burn yourself? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Let me see. Aww. See. Kiss it better, oh Stephanie. Kiss it better. <laughs> Kiss it better. Kiss it better. So you're complaining about money and you went out and bought these crappy fireworks? They're not crappy. <laughs> go, 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 go. There you go. No. Oh, you son of a <laughs> You burnt yourself again. <laughs> yeah, hey. Oh, my God. Wow. Watch out, watch out. Forget it. We're not even having fireworks. You almost burnt grandma. You burnt yourself. This no, is This it. is not going to happen like this. We're Chad, not going to have everybody within no, a, a one foot it. radius. No fireworks. You're, you're going to be so drunk, anyways, you'll probably burn the whole place down. Hey, let's hope a fire extinguisher is one of the things included in your venue package. We're not going to do it my way. No. Probably a better idea that way, anyways. Oh, well, then we might as well have the finale now. Oh, right. grand finale. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> and me, that was good. <laughs> you know what, after seeing Chad bring home these fireworks, you know, I don't even care about fireworks anymore. You know what, he, if he wanted to do it himself, then forget it. There's no way, I don't even care, professional or not, we're not doing fireworks. Angelica wanted to meet with us to go over the budget, so she had Steph and I meet up with her so we could discuss a few things. I want to talk to you just overall about your wedding because, you know, we're getting close and there's some things that we need to share with each other and make sure everyone's on the same page. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Your venue, we're all set there. Yeah. You've got an amazing price. Everything was in, which helps keep you on budget again. Yeah. All right? Yeah. I know, there's a few changes, there's I understand that. There's a few that. changes. Such as the linens. The linens, okay. which I think were a great yeah. thing well, to add. I well, and that's the thing is, we found you the linens you wanted. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right? It was a sacrifice. And if I know Steph, it won't be your last. How about the rings? Rings. We went with Chad's idea of do-it-yourself rings. Um, but we went with silver. Well, Chad went with silver. I would have, if I would have had my pick, I would have had diamonds in it, but Chad wouldn't let me have diamonds. Well, you figured you spend a day and put some some love into the rings. It, it wouldn't need no oh, glitter. Oh, look at those. You know what? He was very thoughtful about it, so this is why I'm not too mad about the idea. But again, I would have liked some diamonds in it. But, I mean, I will admit, it's a great idea. It's they, personal. Just, you can pass these downs and say, you know, my daddy made this for my mom. Like, there's some history there now. I know. There you you know, know. She was, sees the point. I do see the point. It was really sweet of you, but I just wanted diamonds somewhere in my you wedding ring. Ask diamonds okay. for the okay. yeah, anniversary. There's diamonds in your engagement ring. That's true. Okay. There you go. Next. Technically, that's all you... All right. Now, <laughs> Steph, yeah. is there anything you would like to share with us? No. Steph? Do you have something to share with us? Okay. It's supposed to be a surprise, though. Okay. 
So there's no point in me telling you about it now. Well, no, I would like to hear about it now. It's your entrance. When Chad hears what's coming, he may be planning his exit. We ended up getting a sailboat. A sailboat? Yes. How much did this end up costing us? We got the sailboat for two hours. That's right. And it's for the bridal party and you to go out, do photos. Our pictures are going to look yeah. amazing. Do we really need it for two hours, though? Yes, well, we do. Well, it's 500 bucks for two hours. That's and if nothing. we cut it to an hour, it's only 250 No, Angela, we're Well, I think we should cut it, it to an hour. No, we're not cutting it. We're not going to have really, enough time what? for pictures, Chad. It's not even a lot of money, $500, Chad. $500 isn't a lot of money? No, it's not. Okay. You're dreaming. If this were a dream, Steph would have her party boat. Just move on from that, because it's just gonna get Chad flustered. Okay. Yeah. Well then I wanna talk <laughs> flustered. Let's let's talk about the flowers. Oh, Angelique. Flowers. Yes. What about the flowers? We added floral centerpieces. What? Okay, the centerpieces at the hall are very nice. Yeah but they just didn't fit my vision. So I kind of had to upgrade. Your vision is to spend center. more and more money each day we get closer you know to the wedding. Do you know how many tables we have? Chad, you know what? I don't even know why we have to bring these things up. Because you guys need to be on the same page. Exactly, and $70 a piece per that's table? Fine, that's outrageous no, it's when not. they come free. You know what, the free ones just didn't make the cut. And they I were understand nice, that. But I we have to have the fresh flowers. Okay, well I'll be making a little visit to the floral shop. You know what, he's that crazy probably. Though. Are you seriously, he yeah. would? Would you do that? Don't you dare, do that? I'm gonna go see what I can do to cut this price down a bit. Chad, no, well, I already... You went by yourself and, and got $70 I a piece. This is all set in stone, this is done. I have a contract with the flower Nothing shop, and this stone. is how it's gonna be. Okay, stone. right now, Chad seems to be flipping out about the money that's being spent. Chad flips oh, yeah. out about money all the time. This is money. nothing new. Money's money, Steph. This meeting's just ridiculous. Well, this meeting... Uh, You're I'm tearing apart this our wedding, wedding one thing by one. Like, our wedding's gonna be crap now. It's not gonna be crap. So, one step up from crap? We still have what a beautiful happened? wedding, just a fraction of the cost. But will it only be a fraction of Steph's vision? I was not prepared to hear what Angelique had to say in that budget meeting. Uh, it's time for me to make some moves fast. Hello. Hi. Hi, my uh, fiance was in here a while ago, yeah. and she placed an outrageous order with you guys. Okay. Um, I would like to see some numbers and cut that in half. Okay, and what's your fiance's name? Stephanie Aksu. Okay, I'm just gonna grab the contract, have a seat, make yourself Thank comfortable. You. Now, how can I help you? Well, let's start with saving a whole lot of money. Okay. Um, what's the cheapest flower you got? The cheapest flower or daisies? Okay, daisies it is. I want daisies on every center table, on every center piece, and anywhere else you can put a daisy. I think Steph has a place she'd like to stick a daisy right now. If you completely change the whole contract like that, I don't think Stephanie will be too happy. She really, really loved the centerpieces cool. and the colors. But what I could do is I could reduce the size of the centerpieces. Instead of this large, I could make them smaller. Which but, means smaller price. Yeah, but at least Stephanie will get her flowers that she likes in it. Okay. Um, so, so no daisies? You don't think daisies? I would stay away from the daisies. She wouldn't be too pleased to see that on the day of her wedding. But they are cheaper. Oh. But they're not as nice. In the grand scheme, how much from the from the last total cost to uh, how much can you save us? How much I could save you? Let's see, total five hundred and sixty. Sounds good. That sounds great. Okay. Actually, thank you very much. No problem. After finding out where we were with the budget and cutting Steph's ridiculous flower bill in half. I go home, lo and behold, to find Steph still spending money. Ridiculous. You don't know how to have fun. Does it look good? Yeah. Okay, who's next? You're next? I'll go next. Hey! Hey! Uncle hey. Chad's here! Hey! What, what, what is this? We're having a spray tan party. A spray tan party? Instead of having us to go out, they come here. Oh, uh, that's an inconvenience to go out and get a tan? This is more fun, Chad. Come on, you have one next. I'm not. I'm not doing a spray tan. I can't. I can't believe this. Like, what does this run us? Like two hundred dollars, but that's okay. You actually had to pay for this. Well, it's a gift to my bridesmaid. I don't believe that for one second. Chad, come on. Why don't you have one next? Come here. I need to talk to you. Steph may be tanned, but Chad's burning mad. Steph, I cannot believe after what Angelique has told us about our budget, you're still out spending money. 
Well, Chad, I thought it'd be a nice present for the girls. A nice present, Steph, it still costs money. You, you just, uh, every which way you look at it, you're trying to spend money. You know what, if I wanna have a spray tan party at my house, I'm gonna do that. Well, I'm just gonna let you know right now that I chopped the flower bill in half. What do you mean you cut the bill in half, Chad? Wait, uh, get, tell me exactly what you cut from there. Steph, we didn't need that many flowers. Okay, so I've just made, we've gotten the, we're getting the same arrangements, just less. It's gonna look good, it's for us. It's, you it's... went and did that, behind my back. Yes, I did. Your back was busy getting spray tanned. You're making too many cuts, Chad, this isn't fair. I'm making our budget realistic. It's gonna work out, don't get all hyped up over everything. It's gonna work out, okay? Can you stop cutting things then for me? Well, then, Can you at least discuss them with me first? We will first? discuss things from further on, but uh, what I've done is gonna stay. Fine, no more compromises, though, okay, unless things... we discuss. <laughs> it's done. Okay. Coming up. Pre-game. You ready to go? Ready to go. All right? I'm ready to go. Good. Tracy always had this eye on a, on a leather coat that I had, um, that I had ever since college days when we first met. And so um, I put the, actually put the ring in the pocket of the leather coat, and then, um, I gifted Tracy the leather coat, and she put it on, and she went into the. I told her to check the pockets to. It was the coat I was really excited about because yeah. I thought the coat was the gift. Yeah. When it comes to your wedding day, you want everything to be a cut above average. This meeting is just ridiculous. No, this meeting. You're I'm tearing apart this our wedding actually. one thing by one. Like our wedding's going to be crap now. It's not going to be crap. We still have a beautiful happened. wedding, just a fraction of the cost. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if this couple slashed their spending or cut their savings to the bone. The morning of the wedding, I felt pretty good. I wasn't nervous at all. I had a little bit of butterflies, but I knew that I was marrying the right person, so I just couldn't wait to get to the altar. Oh. What are you most excited about? I'm most I'm excited about to marry Chad. Yeah. I'm excited to walk down the aisle. I'm, I'm excited that it's finally here and that I get to marry my best friend. <laughs> All righty. Good. How's that feel right there? Is that too tight? Well, you got to drop it a bit now. Okay, ladies. Now wiggle a little. Go. There we go. How's that feel? Feels good. How's Chad going to get this off me tonight? <laughs> Hide some money in your bra, and he'll have it off in no time. How's that feel? Feels good. Can you dance? Put your arms up. Does it fall down? Nope. <laughs> okay. All this wedding, you've spent so much money. I know. How do you feel about it? It's worth it. So does it matter right now? No, it doesn't no. matter. Good. Money does not matter right now. No, it doesn't. But wait until tomorrow. The morning of the wedding uh, was like no other. I uh, woke up, had something to eat. Um, I had no jitters. I had no... Uh, fear, I knew I was walking down that aisle to the right woman. <laughs> that was you. Thanks, babe. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? <laughs> These are the bands made... By hand. By hand. Wow, you know what? They turned out beautiful. I know. Huh. That's Turn really out. nice. Thank you. Pre-game. You ready to go? Ready to go. All right? I'm ready to go. Good. You're gonna marry my sister today. Yep. Okay? When you go in, I want you to go straight down the aisle, make a right, stand up there and wait for her. That's, and Dad's gonna flag. bring her down, and the most important part, I do. Yeah. Caleb, okay. you got the ring. Oh, the, the cake, cake topper. topper. Is this Angelique? Yeah, she's just telling the bride's dress her now, what's up? Oh, can, uh, can you just ask her if she took the cake topper? Yes, we have it. Okay, thank you. When I first saw her come down that aisle, my heart fluttered and I had a little tear in my eye. She was just gorgeous. Stephanie, I take you to be my lawfully wedded wife. To love, honor, and cherish, as long as we both shall live. Chad, I take you to be my lawfully wedded husband. To love, honor, and cherish, as long as we both shall live. Stephanie, I give you this ring. With all that I am, I honor you. I am the merchant of the powers vested in me to hereby pronounce you, Stephanie and Chad, to be husband and wife. Atta boy. Coming up. Lowland for miles. 
never had more trouble in my life than the seating arrangement. If we didn't kill anyone during that, <laughs> I can get through anything. But it was true, like it was very tough to get people organized and then all of a sudden we'd find out, well, somebody's fighting with somebody else and they don't want to be at that table. Oh, okay. When it comes to your wedding day, you shouldn't think about the money. You should just be head over heels in love. All this wedding, you've spent so much money. No. How do you feel about it? It's worth it. So does it matter right now? No, it doesn't no. matter. Good. Money does not matter right now. And soon we'll reveal if the wedding was worth the cost or if there was no love lost between this couple and their budget. Everybody loved the sailboat idea. Everybody hopped on the boat and uh, we had a little bit of a, a cruise around the harbor and the pictures turned out to be amazing and uh, everybody was eating it up. Yes. Oh. In for miles. Cheers. It's time to set sail for shore and a wedding reception they will never forget. It was really emotional seeing the venue all set up for the first time. The hall in Angelique went above and beyond. It looked fantastic. Oh my god. It's okay. It's okay. I want to see it. Oh, it's okay. Wow. It's gorgeous. I love it. Cake topper was perfect. It ended up being perfect for our cake, and it looked fantastic on top of the three tiers. See? You, he did do good. <laughs> you did you, you did a good job there, Chad. But that was my cake topper. Yeah. Oh, that's Ooh. nice, Chad. <laughs> and to top that, here's the grand entrance. Mr. and Mrs. Chad and Stephanie McDonald. <laughs> This champagne toast started a party that lasted into the wee hours of the night. Today was everything that we hoped for and more. Everything turned out beautiful, the ceremony was beautiful, and I got to marry the man of my dream. I couldn't ask for a better day. I couldn't ask for a better day. She just said she married the man of her dreams. <laughs> she may have married the man of her dreams. But this couple may lose sleep over the bills. The original budget we handed Angelique was $15,000. When I saw Steph in that dress, my jaw dropped. She looked absolutely stunning. And thanks to Phil for paying for that dress, uh, we didn't have to pay a thing. Uh, the dress was free. The cake fit my vision to a T. And who knew that a door emblem would look so great on top of our cake? And thanks to a little bit of help from my mom, our cake only cost us $525. I thought the DJ alone was going to do the job. Uh, Steph added the dancers, which was a nice touch. Uh, together, they all came to $650. I had a specific vision for the room decor, and with flowers and linens that really brought our space to life, we only spent $1,950. Angelique alone kept Steph in check, which was worth every penny. Uh, her cost was $2,000. Our venue was perfect. Our guests had a great time. Venue, including food and alcohol, came to $10,920. Miscellaneous items, including cookies, photography, and transportation, came to $2,018. What we actually spent was $18,063. Which put us over budget $3,063. I would have been happy, happier going under budget. Yeah, and I would have been happier with getting all of my flowers. Just saying. Steph's tables were set, Chad's cake topper sparkled, and the wedding party set sail. The only question left is, did Chad finally get a leg to stand on? When I saw my wife walking down the aisle, I wept like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw my wife-to-be walking down the aisle, I thought I was one of the most fortunate men in the world. Aww. And later she told me I was. That's right. <laughs>